What did you make me? Yeah. Call. What is it? An advent calendar. An advent calendar. What's an advent calendar? You don't know what that is? No. You get to open one every day till Christmas. It's a. Ooh. It's like a present every day. Okay, well, be careful. Present number one. Take it down. Open it for me on the bed. Yes, sir. Close your eyes. Open them. Woo! Candy! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh! Play dots and boxes. Ooh! I'm so excited. No wonder. Go for a bike ride. It is. I'm just getting fat, just as fat as can be, and I need to lose some weight. So I, I hate running. So go go for a bike ride. Wife, are you ready for a bike ride? I'm ready. I'm too scared to ride through the gate. And if I had been videoing earlier, you would understand. So we were going for a quick bike ride, and it is cut short. And as you can tell. We're not riding our bikes because what happened, dear? I dear. fell. Look at my knee. I ripped my jeans. Look at that. Blood and she dirt. She fell. You know why she and fell? And gravel. Why'd you fall, babe? Because I was turning and I need really wide spaces to turn. Just want to do a little recap of our bike ride that we just had. So we're going, and my wife is looking at the, some berries on a tree and goes, Oh my gosh, berries on a tree. Feet flailing. Doesn't fall though. All right. Two minutes later, we're riding down. She gets off the sidewalk into the grass, and her tire gets stuck between the grass and the sidewalk. And kaplunk, no big deal. It was all right. We got back up and we kept going. And then we go into this neighborhood. And I said, Oh, hey, there's a trail. So we go into the trail. And, or no, we don't even get to the trail. We keep going, I'm like, hey, turn around. And there was a, there's a T in the street. So I said, just turn around like at the T and come back. Well, she like misses it, goes in and makes like a super duper wide turn, gets in some slick spot and just eats it. And I just had to perform first aid. But we're all okay. No tears were shed, only blood. I fell. How'd you fall? I was turning. Why were you turning so widely and recklessly? <laughs> I have to turn widely because I don't have any coordination. <laughs> what am I going to do with this woman? Okay guys, so Tuesday, Tackle Tuesday, we're going to be talking about um, some tackle that I'm going to be using for this week's upcoming tournament. I'm fishing a tournament in Conroe, just uh, like a bass open basically and no membership fees or anything. It's gonna be pretty cold, and I really don't know what I'm gonna throw, so I'm gonna talk about a couple baits that, I, that are kind of my go-to baits um, when I go to Conroe, and just uh, how I fish them and where I fish them. One of the uh, baits I wanna to talk to you about is a Z-Man chatter bait. Uh, it doesn't really matter what branch, just an alternative to the spinner bait. It, uh, just covers a lot of water really quickly and I, I don't I just fish it I throw it out there and I just reel it in at a steady speed and every once in a while I'll do a quick crank just to let that skirt flare up real quick and in case like if a fish is following it and it doesn't really know and you just real quick just one twist it gives it like a reaction bite straight away so that's gonna be one of my I always pair it with a uh, these Berkeley power baits checker cross um, Mike Iaconelli likes to throw these a lot. It just it has a good action behind it. It has a good smell. Um, they're like the per they're like my perfect trailer size. These are really good trailers. Um, a second, I'm gonna just talk about moving baits really today. A second bait that I'm gonna think 
I think it's going to be pretty hot as just a swim jig with a paddle tail. I'm going to go with the white off first and then I'm going to try to see if uh, changing some colors will help. Like this is just the easiest thing to find fish with I think. You just throw it out there and you swim through everything and anything. and um, It's a pretty big, not too big, but a pretty big profile so you're kind of targeting a little bit bigger fish. Like I said, just kind of, I use it, do a steady reel, same thing with a quick retrieve, or a quick, one quick turn. Um, it's really good to bounce off things. Same with the chatterbait, a lot, of, like, a lot of people think that you can't fish a chatterbait off of wood and stuff. And I understand like if you hit wood wrong and it turns, you're gonna get hung up every time. But like if you're in a straight line and you're holding and you see that piece of wood laying flat across, you can hit it and the bait will go up like that and be fine. So. Um, don't be too scared about throwing it around wood, but it's definitely not the most effective. If you're going to be around a lot of wood, swim jig is the way to go, especially with that weed guard. Um, last but not least, you guys are going to make fun of me, but I think the A rig is going to be going to be a big player this week. Um, the bite, I feel like, I don't know, I haven't been out there, I haven't been to Conroe in a month or two, so I feel like the bite's going to be slowing down with the cold weather, the cold water. So. This is just, this just catches fish like all the time. We have had a lot of rain, so there'll be a lot of runoff and stuff. So I, I need some flash and I need something that big fish are gonna bite. And that's what, that's what this is gonna go for. Um, I, I'm not really big on throwing this. Like I'm not an A-rig fanatic by any stretch of the imagination. But this week and like I feel that it's gonna be, gonna be a go-to. Uh, me and my buddy fished this. Probably a year, maybe two years ago, and he caught a nine pounder, like third cast. And so that's that's what I'm thinking. I, I like to use these like pre, I think these are Berkley's, I like these pre-rigged uh, swim baits with the head already built in. I um, mean, you can throw whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But uh, those are the three baits. I'm gonna be looking for some rocks probably. Um, really with Conroe, it's like, this is how I, I think Conroe. It is such a populated or it's such a heavily pressured like fishing lake. It's in a it's in a dense city. Um, it gets fished almost every day. You can go in behind someone and catch some fish. There's there's they don't care. They just move in. One fish gets plucked, it swims off or gets carried like gets thrown in the live hole, and another fish is gonna move up. So just game plan is going to be hitting a lot. Well, Friday I'm probably going to pre-fish, so it's going to be hitting a lot of spots trying to figure out a pattern with those baits. And then I'm going to slow down on tournament day and fish slower. I'll probably fish a drop shot some. I'll fish a Texas rig and a jig. But So I'm going to have three moving baits and three uh, slow moving baits or you know jigging baits. But uh, that's it for Tackle Tuesday. Puppies!